Hi there fellow people and welcome. In today's video we will be dwelling down into a game changing feature that is often underutilized in Windows. If you ever wished you had more screen space without adding extra monitors or if you struggle to manage numerous open apps and often find it hard to manage to a lot of stuff in one desktop then you're in for a treat for there's a solution for that. In this video we will explore what virtual desktops are why they are a game changer, how to use them efficiently, and at last, some awesome keyboard shortcuts, shortcuts to make your experience even smoother. So let's jump right in. Well, virtual desktops are basically a new desktop space you can make if you have to manage or organize multiple things and you do not want to have this done in just one desktop space. By creating new virtual desktops, it's kind of like having an extra virtual screen because you can work, your work can be split up into separate desktop spaces within each of their own space. This means each of your virtual desktops are isolated from each other with each of their own things that you intend to use for them. So in essence, this allows you to organize your apps and tasks into separate spaces giving you the freedom to switch between projects, focus areas, or personal use this with some more ease. So why would you use virtual desktops? Well, first of all, enhanced organizational. You can keep your work apps separated from your entertainment apps and thus reducing distractions and improve your focus. Efficient multitasking. No more alt tapping through a messy, of open or mess of open apps in just one desktop. Virtual desktops provide a clean slate for each task, which inevitable will boost your productivity. Reduced clutter. Say goodbye to desktop clutter. You can now allocate specific desktops for different projects, responsibilities, and the tasks at your hand that you'd like to do within that specific desktop. So now we have made it to my empty desktop. And now I want you, us all, to dive into this practical side of things as to how we can easily get started to create virtual desktops. We'll start by going to where you can see the tabs that is already open in your primary desktop. And then in here as well, you can see how many virtual desktops has been made as well. This can be done by clicking or pressing down the Windows button or Windows key button on your keyboard and the tab button. Then you'll get in here. Then you can see I have opened already one virtual desktop here. and My primary is the desktop number one, but I'll just remove that for now. And as stated, you can see if I had any tabs open, it would be appearing up here. So if I had Google Word, whatever tab, then I would see the tabs opened here. And as I stated also before, you can see the overview of the desktops you have down here. The primary desktop number one here, that cannot be deleted. The only thing you can actually do with it is change its name. And that's by right clicking on it and click rename. And then you can choose whichever name for it that you'd like. To create new virtual desktops, you can actually just go in here and click on the little square box here with the cross sign. Now you have made a new desktop. These new desktops that you make actually does not get removed if you perform a restart or your computer's going to be restarted or sorry, that's what I just said, if you have to shut the computer down. So that's a neat thing as well. So you don't have to go in here and create them again. It's not that it takes long, but it's a very neat thing just to know. So let's try to make some sense of it. Let's say that in my desktop number one, I would like to have my Google browser to be opened. Then I can go into my menu here again. And I want to have some privacy regarding as to my Word document should not be in the same desktop space as my Google browser. So I can open my Word document in this. And now I have two separate desktop spaces where I can do two two different things. So in here, if you use the Alt Tab button, this is for your current desktop space tabs that you can see. I only have the document 
in here in Word in my desktop number two opened. But I can switch over to my desktop number one here as well. Use the Alt tab to see the current things opened in that specific desktop space. And that's OBS, which I record with and my tab with Google Chrome. So that's a very good thing. Let's say you could have a meeting and you like to share something, then you can actually just share that specific thing in that individual desktop space. And then they cannot see what is actually in the other desktop spaces. And that's where the power of this is actually very good as well. And just to show you how you can delete the uh, desktop again, you can go in here and just use the cross sign and then it is removed. And then I only have my desktop number one again. So now that we have the fundamental aspect as to how we can use it, I would like to show you how this can be made even more easy with some keyboard shortcuts as to how you can quickly make a new virtual desktop, as to how you can faster switch between the two or more desktop spaces you have made and how you can delete them with a shortcut as well. So if you like to quickly make a new virtual desktop, you can use the Windows key, Control plus D. Then you'll make a new virtual desktop, which can be seen in the menu here as well. I just made this one and I can make one more just for the sake of it as with that shortcut. So now to show you how you can quickly switch between your desktop spaces, you can use the Windows logo key or the Windows key as whatever you'd like to call it, plus the control button and then use your arrows to switch between the desktops. As you can see in my desktop number one, I have my PowerPoint open. In my desktop number two, I have my Google browser open. In my number three desktop space, I have Word open. So that's a very neat trick. So you can just use the arrows to switch between whatever desktop space you'd like to be on. So as a nice little shortcut as well is that you can remove the virtual desktops that you have made with a simple shortcut by pressing down the Windows key, Control and F4. Then I'll be removing the two desktop spaces we have just made. And then the things from them will just move over to your primary desktop space. As you can see, the Google browser came over here and the Word document. And just to verify, you can go in here and you can see they are removed by this shortcut. And there you have it. The magic of virtual desktops has now been unlocked for you. By now, you're armed with a little bit more of knowledge of how virtual desktops work in Windows, their benefits and how to make the most out of them and how to use the handy shortcuts to help you with aiding in the process of using it. So now say goodbye to clutter and distraction and welcome a new era of streamlined multitasking in your Windows OS. Nevertheless, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more tech tips. Until then, have a good day and take care.